All right, well, welcome to our story time portion of Family and Friends Sunday at the Ackland Art Museum. My name is Lindsay and I work in public programs and we have put together um, a series of activities that you can do at your own pace, um, inspired by the artwork glare that currently hangs in the Ackland's galleries by artist Julian Stanchek who was a member of the op art movement. And today we are going to have our intern, Carrie Young, read a story about a familiar sight during summer. So you can take it away, Carrie. Cool, thank you, Lindsay. Um, so today we're gonna to be reading Sam and the Firefly by P. D. Eastman. Here's the cover. And I'm super excited about this book because this is a book I read a ton as a kid. Um, and it's been so fun to rediscover it. So here's the opening page. The moon was up when Sam came out. Now is the time for fun, he said. Who, said Sam, who? Who wants to play? But no one said a thing. Then Sam looked about. The fox was asleep and the jay was asleep. The dog was asleep and the hog was asleep. The sheep was asleep and so was the cow. Then Sam went down to the lake, but no one was there. All he could see was the moon and the shine of the moon on the water. It takes two to have fun, who, said Sam, who? Who wants to play? But no one said a thing. Then Sam saw a light. He saw the light hop. He saw the light jump. It went here, it went there, it went on, it went off, but no one said a thing. Then the light hit Sam on the top of his head. The light said, boo. Who made that boo, asked Sam. Who are you? I am a firefly. My name is Gus, and I have a trick I can do with my light. Look, look, I can put it on and keep it on like this. Then Sam saw something new. The firefly made lines with his light. That's a pretty cool illustration. Say, said Sam, what a trick, this is new. Oh, the things we can do with a trick like that. Let me show you. Now put on your light and keep it on. Then you do what I do, he said to Gus. Then Sam went up and Gus went after him. When Sam went down, down went the firefly too. When Sam went, Gus went. Then Sam stopped and Gus stopped too. Now just look there, said Sam. See what we did. Why, we made words, big words, said Gus the firefly. I like this game. I want to do it again. This word trick is fun. Come on, make more words. You can see what they wrote in the sky. They wrote Gus and Sam. So away the two went, Gus after Sam. They made lots of new words. They made fish, they made wish, they made house and a mouse. Then fox, dog, cat, yes, no, kangaroo and thermometer. Sam and Gus made a lot more words. Then Sam looked about. He was all alone. Where was Gus? Then Sam looked down. He saw some cars and there was the firefly down by the cars. Come back here, called Sam. What are you up to? Uh-oh. What do you think Gus is gonna do? Looks like he's flying into the middle of the cars. What was Gus up to? Gus made some words. Gus made 
go fast and slow. He made go right and go left. And did those cars go? They went bash, they went smash, gusted words that made the cars crash. Oh, what a mess those cars were in. Dear me, said Sam, this will not do. He should not do this. Gus did a bad trick with those words. Look at that huge pile up that Gus created. Now see here, Gus. But Gus would not see. He would not hear. Yeah, wow. I like to make words, lots of words, he said. I like this game. Let me be, you old goose, you. And away he went. Stop, Gus, stop. Come back, called Sam. That was a bad trick. Come back here now. Bad tricks are not fun. Oh, go on home, said the firefly. You old goose, you old hen. What do you know about fun? Goodbye. And away went Gus. Now Gus did more tricks. He did word tricks on some airplanes. He made them go up. He made them go down. He made them go this way. He made them go that way. Now what a mess the airplanes were in. No, Gus, no, said Sam. But Gus did not want to stop. Not yet. This was fun. Then Sam saw Gus do another bad trick. It made the firefly laugh and laugh. It was funny to see them go in free to the movie show. Stop your tricks, called Sam. No more words. Stop, Gus, stop. Now stop. And it looks like all the people must have woken up because they're all flocking to the movie theater. But Gus the firefly did not stop. I have one more trick, he said, a little trick. Look, Sam, look, a one word trick. Uh oh. Then Gus did his little trick, his one word trick. He did a bad trick. He did it to the hot dog man. He made the word cold near the top of the stand. The men looked up. They saw what Gus did. We want our hot dogs hot, not cold. Goodbye, they said. So he lost all the hot dog man's business for him. That's not very nice. Gus did not see the hot dog man, the man with the net and the jar. Uh-oh. Look out, called Sam. Look out, Gus. The hot dog man is mad. I will get that firefly, said the hot dog man. I will take him away from here. He will not play another trick on me. Then something hit Gus. He was in a net. Then, Gus the firefly was in a jar. Let me out. Gus hit up at the walls of the jar. He hopped about, he jumped up and down, but it did no good. There was no way to get out. Then Gus in the jar was in a car. The car went away fast. Where would it take him? Would he do more tricks? Would he make more words? Would he have fun again with his light? Would Gus get out of the jar? Gus did not know, but Sam was there too. He was nearby in the back of, a car, of the car. Oh, what can I do, said Sam. I have to get Gus out of that jar, but how? How can I get him out? Sam was sad. And Gus was sad too. I should have stopped when Sam said no. I was bad. I just had to have fun, said Gus. I wish Sam were here to get me out. The car went on, then it stopped with a bump.
It stopped on some tracks. The car would not go. The hot dog man got out. Then he looked down the tracks. What did he see? He saw a train. Sam saw it too. What would he do? There was just one way to stop that train. Uh oh. Sam went to the car. He took the jar, the jar with Gus. And then, he let the jar fall. Crash, and Gus was out. You can save the car, Gus. You can stop the train. You know what to do. Do it, said Sam. And the firefly did it. He made the word stop. He did it fast and he did it big. He did it a lot. He made lots of big stops. Yeah, wow, Gus, called Sam. At last you did a good trick. Look, it says stop, look down there. A car on the track, stop the train. And the train did stop, and just in time. What a trick, they all said, a good, good trick. Hooray for the firefly. He stopped the train. But Sam and Gus did not hear. They had gone away. Sam looked at Gus and the sun came up, as the sun came up. Now the morning light is here and no one can see your tricks. It is time we went home to bed, said Sam. So Sam went back to his home in the tree and Gus went back to the lake. And very small down there, it looks like you can see the train going by again. But night after night, when the moon comes up, Gus the firefly comes back to play. And that is the end, and there they are again. Thank you so much for reading with us. Awesome. Thanks for that, Carrie. I love seeing two friends and their adventures. And so folks, um, you can visit our website, www.acklin.org, to find two art making videos that our friend Carrie here put together, also inspired by the peace glare and thoughts of summer. And thank you for joining us this afternoon. Have a great day.